Hey everybody, I'm Tyler. And hey, I'm Brian. And today we wanted to talk a little bit more about uh, a big mistake that people make when they receive new cables and connectivity. And that's just thinking that this is a brand new cable assembly. I'm sure it's perfectly fine. I don't need to inspect it. I don't need to clean it or check it. Uh, and that ends up being a catastrophic problem for them. Yep. Um, you oftentimes hear people talk about dust caps and never, you know, never assume it's clean. And I can't stress enough that no matter what even the manufacturers try to do, it can leave their facility perfectly fine, but I can't stress enough that just because that worked doesn't mean that by the time the end user received it, that it's, that it's clean. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I mean, Tyler, there's a number of things that can happen, right? So the factory can go through, have wonderful process, do the testing, and everything looks pristine. But sometimes what happens is when they start putting these end caps on, the protective end caps, you have things like uh, uh, they'll have like plasticizers. And basically what that is, that's the like can cause some oil residue. And, that, and, and, and these are kind of a, uh, some mold release when they actually go through and mold these, right? So you can sometimes mm -hmm. have that get on, on there. Another thing that uh, I've seen happen is you start to see dust get on there and maybe some of that's connector wear debris that's coming on or sometimes too uh you know everything has gone through tested and depending on how the end caps are being stored at the production facility sometimes a little bit small amounts of dust but as it gets on to the uh the inside of the end cap and things shake and vibrate in the shipping process it can actually get onto the ferrule end face you know you were talking about that mold example i saw that firsthand a couple of years ago i was a working with uh, some folks at an industry event and there's a cabling manufacturer that was giving demonstrations of their connector and they were showing that hey I could I could terminate this connector in the field and I mm -hmm. can plug it in and everything is great and I said y you know you're not checking that before you actually made it and he said hey this was checked at the factory everything was great and wonderful mm -hmm. And I, and I said, let's take a look at that, just for example. I'm going to, this brand new connector right out of the mm -hmm. bag, I removed the dust cap and we checked it with a microscope, and it was it had mold all over it, residue all over oh, it. Oh, wow. Yeah. And we connector after connector, we kept on opening up. He said, no, that was, must be a problem, you know, just a, a, a rare occurrence. No, connector after connector, this was mm -hmm. happening over and over. And he was paranoid about, started thinking about the problems of his, his facility. I said, no, it's not, it probably left your facility perfectly fine sure and you know who knows where it was stored maybe it was in a warehouse in new orleans or whatnot but the different environmental factors that impacted this ultimately led to by the time the end user got it there was this mold residue that mm -hmm. was on the end of it now the good news is is all he had to do at once he checked that was clean it yep and it came right off right so it goes back to that proactive inspection yeah thing again uh, but basically, once he did that, it was a big relief. And I said, it's not your fault. Mm -hmm. This is uh, this is something that's just the nature of physics, you know, that this is going to happen. Yeah. And so, but this is just an assumption. You know, you think about copper guys. Right? Yeah, this exactly. A lot of copper guys are used to being able to take the uh, patch cord outside of the bag and then plug it up. And if they have an issue, they'll come back and say, hey, look, we got to replace this patch cord. Yeah, a reactive mentality. Yes. Yeah, it's a reactive mentality. But uh, realistically, what's happening in the industry is you have a lot of guys that are pretty new to fiber. Mm -hmm. And so I think what they're doing, they have sometimes an unrealistic expectation. And it's not necessarily that once in a while, if you have a, uh, a cable assembly or even a piece of equipment that has a little bit of dust on there, that the manufacturer is bad or that he's actually having quality problems. Far from it. I mean, dust and residue type contamination are things that just actually happen. But the great thing is it's a very easy problem to solve. And once you're aware of it, um, it's very easy to do the inspect, clean yeah. and inspect process to make sure that you remove it, right? So the whole thing is when you open up the bag and you're pulling your jumper out or your drop cable, or even if you're sitting there plugging something into your piece of uh, you know, network gear, you want to make sure that you inspect it and clean it. And again, you know, dust happens, residues happen. It's just a fact of life, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So we'd like to hear from you. If there's any, uh, if you ever had an experience where you, you check a cable right from the manufacturer, again, you know, no fault of the manufacturer, but what's the most crazy thing that you've ever seen by inspecting a, a connector right out of the bag? Mm -hmm. Until next time, I'm Tyler. Hey, and I'm Brian.